And we just finished up a warm and sunny September, but soon the temps will drop and the snow will start falling. Chief Meteorologist Justin Pfanf really tells us what he expects for this winter and how a weather pattern called La Nina will affect us. The topic of La Nina really does show how the global weather pattern affects us locally. In a La Nina pattern, there's a cool wind off the west coast of South America, and then strong trade winds blow east to west. This takes cool air all the way across the Pacific Ocean out toward Australia. Now for us, that means that a large high pressure system develops north of Hawaii, and that upper level high cannot move off to the south due to the trade winds. There's a clockwise flow around high pressure systems, so the jet stream moves off to the north, goes through Alaska, and then down into the continental United States. Now this winter, here's what it looks like with a La Nina pattern. We have a moisture feed coming from the Pacific, so above normal moisture is expected into the Pacific Northwest and up into Southern Alaska. Wetter than average conditions are also expected from Southeastern Nebraska and parts off to the east, including into most of the Midwest. It'll be drier than average across the deep south from New Mexico to Florida. For us, we are going to be average to maybe slightly below average in terms of moisture. We do have a strong northwesterly wind that really can't produce a lot of moisture in our viewing area because the terrain does slope from a higher elevation to a lower elevation as you move off to the east. As for the temperature, it looks like to our north it will be cooler than average, but with a downsloping wind, it is also a warm flow for us. So we usually have many days over the winter we hit 50 to 60 degrees, and we think that's going to be the case for us this winter winter. Really cold air looks to make its way into the northern plains and even into the Pacific Northwest. With all the sunshine they're getting into the south and out toward Texas, it looks like they will be warmer than average this winter. With La Nina, the jet stream does go right over us. It'll wobble back and forth. When it moves off to the south, cooler air filters in, and when it moves back off to the north, warmer air will work in. We think this is going to be the story through the entire winter. The lows that track along the jet stream will determine temperature and moisture. When the low tracks off to our north, we have a strong northwesterly wind, which is dry and mild for us. When the low tracks off to our south, we have the possibility of some snow as an easterly wind will give us cooler than average weather and produces moisture. We think this winter will bring slightly less snow than average and temperatures just slightly above average, but nothing out of the extreme. For NBC Nebraska, I'm Chief Meteorologist Justin Fanfarelli. This is the third winter in a row we will be in a La Nina pattern. The last time back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back La Ninas happened was in the late 90s.